So I've just launched the boat and um, we're about to scoot across to six mile. And um, I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of like filming of the fishing because I don't, I can't get a hit up. So it'll either just be pulling in fish or like, I might do just a montage. Depends how much footage I get. But um, see how we go anyway. Right, um, in this episode I'm doing like a catch and cook. We were in the boat yesterday and I got a flathead and um, like a dusky flathead and Matt got a cod. But um, I'm just gonna cook the flathead in a simple recipe being just um, a bit of flour and pepper and salt. And I'll just do it on the fire just here somewhere. And um, I'll do that. Alright, so here's that flathead I got. I'm just going to fill it now and um, then I'll put it in the pan and then I'll put the pan on the fire when the coals burn down a bit. And then um, I'll cut it up. No, I'm going to fill it and then I'm going to skin it and chop it up into little bite sized pieces. Then I'm going to put it into this flour and salt and pepper mixture which I've got here. Just make sure you load it up with salt and pepper and you'll be right. And chuck a bit of oil on the pan as well. And um, it'll come up pretty good. So I'm just cut down there, then I'm just going to cut down to the tail, but leave a bit, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Yeah, we've got, 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 Blow the fins and cut down. Just 
and turn north. Let me cut. Bloody board keeps on moving. And just cut through the pin bones. Whatever they're called. Same thing, go like that. Can the camera see that? Yeah, got that, and then start there, and just keep the knife down low. Probably give it a clean before I chop it up. Now this next bit, there's a lot of bones starting from there and down, and you're going to take them out. So I just like to cut either side. See all the bones in there, sort of, and then that's like deboned, no skin, and filleted piece of flathead. And then I'll just do the same with the other one, then I'll chop it up into little bits, and then I'll flare it and stuff. And there's the two pieces of flathead, and um, I'll start chopping it up. And now I think just use a sharp knife because that tends to help a bit. Now I've got a heap of pieces of fish that are chopped up and stuff. And my, oh crap. The flour is actually holding up my phone along with the pan to try and, um, like, to get, like, the angle sort of. I'll see if this does it. I only did a bit. But, um, there's the fish that I've all chopped up. And there's the flour that I'm going to chuck into. 
And there's the flower that, uh, fire that I'm eventually going to put it onto. But I don't know how I'm going to mount this camera on my phone. I don't know. Alright, now the flathead's holding up me camera. Boom. And just chuck them in one by one. They get stuck together sometimes, so I'll just um, take them out, put them on here, then chuck them back in again, if they are stuck together. So, um, there we go. 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 I'm surprised they aren't stuck into That's it. Oh. And um, so flathead's done, and we piece of fish are done. So I'll get rid of the flathead. Take that home yet. Right. As I was saying before, my bloody phone ran out of space. I don't think the creek's got much water in it. And if it is, it's going to be all bloody dirty and everything. Well, I'll just have a look. If I was at like the river or something and we were camping, I'd just get a bit of sand and put it in there with some water and like mix it around, sort of. Oh, bloody hell. Pig waller. Pretty fresh, too. It's only little pigs because you can see like there's a the track there. You can see like bristle marks all along the side of it. Not very big pigs, it must just be a sow and a sucker. Alright, there's a track. Well, there's leaves in it, so that's saying that's a little bit old. That's a boar because it's like rounded at the tip, sort of. Um, yeah, that's pretty fresh, though. Sort of see there, there's a track, and that's a sow because they're pointy at the end. Bloody hell, I didn't even know there were bloody pigs still running around here. Might have to go for the hunt, Sabi. But anyway, before I got sidetracked, if there was sand, you'd use that as like a scrubber or something to scrub all that. Like you see, the water's not very clean. Just put a little bit in there. And that'll do. Yeah, oh yeah. And now um, I'll go and have a look up here. And um, I won't stop the camera, I'll just keep on going. Very smoky. Grab the oil. Oops. Right, I don't know how well you got that because I was holding it with me like chest and me neck sorta. Right, do that. Chuck that there. And then when it heats up a bit, which won't take very long at all, I'll come back and um, chuck me fish on it, which is right there. That only took a couple of seconds, and it's sizzling away. That's my fish. And I'll just keep on chucking them in. Right, they're all in. And um, I need to sort of like turn them over and stuff. So I'll just use like a stick. Yeah, 
Aldo. Move the oil around. Make sure that they're the least bit healthy as possible. <laughs> Right now, um, I'll just sit here and wait for them to brown up a bit, and then I'll just like turn them over and stuff, and then I'll like do a taste test, sort of. I mean, yeah. Bake it. All right, just turned it all over, and um, just saying that this bloody was caught on the um 90 millimeter redhead vibe by um Jarvis Walker, because they sent me at that package, and I was trying to get a barrel. And then, um, it was right up close to the snag on a drop-off sorter. And, oh yeah, got him, barra. But it turns out it was just this flathead. But better than nothing, those show that them lures do work. And yeah. What a good arvo. I'm probably just going to sit here and film random stuff while the body do it. I'll, I'll either, I will either put it at the front of this episode or at the end of it. Like the, I might do like a montage of the fishing from yesterday or something. So I'll do that either now or at the end. But I reckon they're just about ready to be taken off and eaten. That one looks really good. Can't wait to rip in. While I'm waiting for those to cool down, I just put away any knife and that and that and all the rest to it. And then I'll see you when I'm going to take this. I've already got a piece. And I only chopped them up small. But I had like a little bit and it tasted really good. Mmm. That's really good. Might have to go for a second. Thank you very much for watching. And please like and subscribe. Because I do like fishing videos and that every week. Some, like the odd week I might skip out. Because of something's happening. Like got jobs to do or something. But I'll do things like this most weeks. And go into my channel and have a look. And um, thank you. See ya.